Hello beautiful people. Um, fuck, that was enthusiastic. Why do I just stick my butt on it? Um, I'm just eating that to get rid of it. Um, I feel like, yeah, oh, ah, it's dirty looking. That smells weird. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. So today's video wasn't really planned. I actually just got spoiled and I am so excited about some of the things that I got so I wanted to share with you guys. So my dad has just returned from a trip to Japan and when he was there I told him buy me like the weirdest things that you can find and clearly he did well because here I am making a video. So obviously I've done quite a few uh, Japanese snack box unboxings and this is a Japanese item haul on my channel. So before anyone thinks I am obsessed with Japanese culture, I'm not, um, but they are probably the most creative culture in the world. I've been to Japan before, uh, I went for two weeks, um, but unfortunately it was a bit of a disaster holiday for me. So it started by arriving in Japan and the airline lost my luggage. They actually didn't find it the entirety of my trip and I think the only reason that I got it back was because I personally went and looked for it in the lost luggage area of Kuala Lumpur airport on the way home. It was this huge unprofessional mess uh, even getting to that point, but because I found it within 14 days, I found it on the 13th day, uh, it was only considered delayed luggage, not lost. So I got no compensation for it, but I went my whole trip without it. I was also suffering from a spinal injury at the time, which I didn't know. Uh, all I knew was that I was in crippling pain and I just had a whole lot of bad luck the whole trip. Uh, I lost my friend's DSLR for a couple hours. Basically it didn't go so well and because of the mindset that I was in already because of the process I was going through to get my luggage back, I didn't enjoy it, I didn't get to have the full experience. So basically I need to go back to Japan uh, and redo that trip. But as soon as I heard my dad was going, I was like, you need to get me the weird, the crazy, the snacks, just bring it all back for me. So he came through. <laughs> Let's have a peek at what he got us, shall we? Start here. First up is a soft waffle toilet seat cover. I actually, uh, I actually love this. I don't know if I want to put these on my toilet. Somebody's going to pee on them. And then I'm going to be pissed off that somebody peed on them. And I don't mean me. Basically, you just pop it on your toilet like that. It is so soft and warm. It reminds me of being back in Japan where they have the uh, bidets, like the robotic toilets, um, where you can actually like have your seat warmed before you sit on it. I miss bidets. Like, just even going to the McDonald's there, they have this toilet that sings to you and washes your butt. It's beautiful. I want a blanket made out of that. It's so nice. Why is this? Why do I just stick my butt on it? Next up, we have a wrapped one. I think it's food. Strawberry chiffon cake. Oh, look at the pandas. How cute is that? So yeah, it just looks like a, like a nice soft pink sponge cake. They actually look really moist. Oh, dad bought me drugs. Oh my gosh. They're the, um, they're the sponge in capsule creatures. Look at these little cuties. So you put the capsule in water and then it turns into a different, different sea creature. We've got to try this right now. Why am I such a child? I'm gonna start with blue because that's how we do things on this channel. So I've got my warm water and I have my spongy sea creature, which is now, I guess, we wait. It's not doing anything. If this doesn't do anything, I'll cry. I reckon that we're gonna start strong and have a shark. I reckon it's gonna be a tuna. The options are shark, turtle, squid, dolphin, ocean sunfish, never heard of that. Penguin, crab, crab. It's doing it. All right, so I reckon tuna. I think that that is the shape already. And what it is, is that ocean sunfish that I just said that I have no idea what it is. All right, we're doing that again because I want something that I can actually tell what the shape is. Round two. It's happening. Octopus, come on. <gasps> One, two, three, four. I can see like six legs. I think I might've got squid. <gasps> Yay, he finished. We got a crab. Isn't he a cutie? I like that one. Moving on to our next item. 
Dad got me some Ziploc bags, but they have uh, cookies all over them. I can put my caps in there. <laughs> I'm gonna like rock up to the nightclub with my cookie baggies filled with these colorful capsules and just start like offering them out. People are gonna be like so suspicious and it's just gonna be sponge sea creatures. <laughs> Those are pretty cute though. Yeah, you got me some sunnies. They're very pink. Oh my God. <laughs> These are no ordinary sunnies. I have reached the ultimate anime look that I could. I can barely see anything, but uh, let's try. Let's go on to the next item while wearing these shells. They are just straight up butts. My eyelashes are hitting the back of these glasses, I can't wear them anymore. It's a butt towel, you know? Dry everything else uh, with your normal towels and then use your butt towel for you. They're so happy. I wonder what the writing says. Let's Google Translate it. <laughs> it, it literally says ass. A-S-S. -S. I can't believe it just says ass. <laughs> Alrighty, moving on. Here we have a really cute bag of treats and look like the little ears stick up and everything. Ooh. So the first thing I see is Kit Kats and if you have been watching my Japan Crate unboxings, you'll know I am obsessed with the, uh, with the Kit Kats that come in there. I also see these little candies. Uh, there's grape and banana flavor. Uh, these, oh, these are a hard candy, as you just heard. Ah, more drugs. <laughs> it's like a pill packet, but they are a bright ball-shaped candy. I've never really seen like these colored packets of Kit Kats before, so I think that the flavors are going to be a bit wild. Let's start with the brown. Oh, maybe like tea. Or beans, like a soybean kind of thing. Wacky, all right. Let's see how close I got because I'm sure that this probably says the flavor on the front. I just need to translate it. Let's try and translate the part that says Kit Kat. It says hair. Hmm, hair flavor. Ah, oh, oh my God. That only took like 15 minutes. It's roasted green tea. So I was close. Moving on, we have... Look, let's get this one because I reckon it's gonna be matcha flavored. Tastes like tea again, <laughs> which I suppose is what matcha's flavor is, right? I thought if I did get a matcha one that I wouldn't like it. And I actually kind of liked that one quite a bit. So let's confirm. Yeah, it's matcha flavored. It's just got that like signature green color. Like it's unmistakable. I'm gonna eat this one. It's in a black packet, which is kind of daunting, but there isn't a little part that is gonna show me the flavor, so smells like dark chocolate. That was quite tasty, but yeah, I think it's just dark chocolate under the green. Uh -huh. That smells weird. What is that? It tastes like seaweed. Ugh. Oh, it gets really bitter. Um, it's dark matcha flavored, apparently. I knew I wouldn't like the matcha. I just didn't realize that there is a dark matcha and that Ugh. Please let this one be tasty. This one looks way, way better. It is pink. It smells very like zesty sweet. Um, it actually might be like a berry cheesecake flavor. Mm. <laughs> well, it's strawberry something, but that just said discerning strawberry, which, uh, which I don't think is what this actually says. Uh, so that's our bag of treats there. Next we have a, uh, a car air freshener. It's bamboo and apple flavored. Hmm, that's pretty. And then our last treat. Looks like another food item. I'm thinking cake again. There is a, um, a naked baby with a flying eyeball for a head on the packet. <laughs> Why Japan be like this sometimes? Oh my God. <gasps> what? They're all eyeball. <laughs> they are a mochi ball with um, the eyeball that you see here printed on top of them. Well, that's um, that's disturbing. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting that. My, 
Dad nailed it. He bought me some weird crap. That is ridiculously soft. So let's eat this baby's head. A little bit of a weird flavor. It's quite powdery. This, I assume, strawberry filling is not very sweet. I've always had mochi that is more chewy or gelatinous. This is like falling apart at the seams. Oh my gosh, look at that. That was just cream there. Uh, I'm not liking the texture of this. This is quite goopy. I feel like, yeah. Oh, ah, ah. I think it would be way better cold. Maybe the inside of that would firm up a little bit more and it would be way less messy. So that is the end of our strange Japanese item haul. Uh, I'm very grateful for everything I got, even if they are seriously disturbing. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Also, I want to hear if any of you guys have had a horror holiday like I did. Obviously, you know my story with the uh, lost luggage, spinal injury, and terrible luck. Uh, I would love to hear if anybody can relate. And uh, hopefully down the track, I'll be taking you guys to Japan with me so we can do this all over again. <laughs> See you next time, guys. Bye.